Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here on Lake Huron, already checked hover and everything, good to go. Um, yeah, let's clear this, don't know why I got that error. But anyways, I've uh, checked hover, I'm good to fly, 10 miles visibility, great weather out here. Uh, especially for, you know, past mid-January. So, been experimenting with the... Um, uh, Spark and Wi-Fi and the tablet and do some more of that experimentation. Unfortunately, I thought I had the Go 4 app loaded on this and I don't. And that's a huge application and while well, this does have wireless, I'm not going to try downloading it. So I'm just going to do another flight, try to catch some of the um, uh, sun. You know, the sun's starting to set. I'm about an hour before sunset. So as you see, i got some nice casts out here on Lake Huron. So I'm going to try to capture some of that. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the takeoff sequence. Kind of let it come up and said, set in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of take this out a little bit. And then what I want to do is just kind of just hover over that ice pack now. I actually changed my glasses. I was trying some new glasses during the last couple flights or episodes you've probably seen. And uh, one of the things really gave me a different perception. So I've gone back to my old glasses to kind of get some of this uh, uh, because what I want to do is again try to really get see how these ice sheets are like this I want to get this right um, right above these ice sheets and so the so again I'm flying right down these ice sheets and uh, again with the setting sun you can see the the light shining off of them. Just amazing views, as uh, especially as I come across the ice, and just kind of walking down. You know, as I, as you can see, I'm only about well, it says one meter off the deck, but I'm only a meter above launch. I'm probably at about 13 feet above the ice because the ice is yeah probably nine to ten feet below me. And so, uh, I just want to watch I don't hit the ice. Look at that. Look at that ice. Yeah, my buddy Big Big Drone Flyer 77, he's not going to see this ice in California, buddy. No sirree do Bob. Look at, look at this, these piles of ice. And that setting sun on these piles of ice, just amazing. And we'll start uh, our return journey up. So far, the iPad is definitely the clear winner. Uh, now this is this is an older iPad Air, so I'm thinking you know one a uh, little bit better. Although I, to be honest with you, I think this is a little bit too big. Um, you know, I'd like something a little bit smaller. Although it's not bad. Uh, the biggest thing is though, you know, the uh, the viewing of it uh, is not bad now because I really don't have any sun. I'm not looking, trying to look at it in bright light, so I'm not seeing a lot of glare in it but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to to both watch it and jockey my screen here a little bit and we're just kind of taking it up over the sheet ice we'll take it we'll kind of follow the sheet ice out around oh some reason we had a little bit of drop out there we didn't have a disconnect we just had a video drop out we we're starting to run into some now I'm facing the copter and this is sort of the direction I've been having problems with in the past so I'm not sure why I'm having problems um, so just kind of moseying it around because I've really kind of taken the going back to using Leechy a bit more than uh, actually uh, the Go4 app. Uh, it seems to be more.
full, quote-unquote, than the Go 4 app. So, uh, although, like I say, I was having a lot of problems with it uh, on Android, but iOS really seems to be pretty solid. And I like supporting the Leechy guys. You know, one of the things I haven't heard anybody using autopilot. Um, is anybody out there using autopilot? And what, what do you think with your Spark? Does autopilot even work with the Spark? Maybe I'll pick that up and also give that a try. Maybe it's a little bit more stable. Because uh, one of the things I understood, and I don't know if this is correct, is that the developers of autopilot actually are not using the DJI SDK, or the software de DJI Software Development Kit. And so, uh, I'm not exactly sure how they're sending stuff, unless they kind of decoded the APIs a bit. Look at that, look at that spin backwards. Whoa, that's, that's flying like Steve McQueen. That's Steve McQueen style flying right there, I'll tell you that much. You guys, you guys saw that, man. That was flying sideways, backwards, all at once, and, well, I could have been chewing gum. Let's bring it back in this way. But that, that, was, that was pretty cool. So let's, let's bring it back in and bring it up the ice. Uh, we're having a little freeze-up issue here on the video. Yeah, we got to disconnect. But she's back. So, yeah, still with a little bit of the disconnect. I'm not sure why why we have to get those disconnects. But uh let's try another Steve McQueen move. Yeah, it didn't quite work out as well that time. So let's let's uh, let's maybe try it on these. So so I'll push forward and then roll backwards. Well, ah, that's pretty cool. So I can get down there in power. So let's try that again. So I got I'm got got it lined up. So I push forward. Start coming over there, yacht, and roll it backwards. And there they are. Now, if that isn't Steve McQueen flying, I don't know what is. But uh, I'm starting to get down there in battery a little bit. Eh, I got a little bit. Play around a little bit more. So I do this, come back in here. So I go fly past it and then I yaw on a reverse it's uh, get, get, getting the timing right on the reverse is what's kind of key it's making sure everything's clear as I back out so I'm at 37 percent I probably need to start bringing it back closer so we had our fun and uh, gimbal up so I can see where I'm going there I am let's give you some a little better look at than me and we're bringing it back here and we're bringing it over and we're trying to get it lined up. And we're going to set it down right on the pad. Bullseye. Great flight. So we're going to save off the video. Got about eight minutes of video. Now I got to disconnect. So hopefully, let's see if that, that reconnected it. Let's see... I think that's saved off the video. It's usually if I'm questionable about the video, I'll start and stop it again. For some reason, now that it's on the ground, I'm having disconnect issues. I don't know why. So, so that's counting up. And we stopped.
So, anyways, another great flight. Spark out here. So far, this is doing better than the Android stuff. So, I really got to say, um, I don't know what happened with the Go 4 in the Android stuff, but uh, de definitely problematic. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to probably be flying a little bit more with Apple. But the uh, iPhone 5S is still giving me problems. So, I think I'm going to, you know, go for uh, probably. Uh, 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 iPad mini or something like that. So anyways, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.